forest. The forest. Very good. So as you look around in this forest, I'd like for you to describe to me what you see around the forest. Light coming through the trees, through the leaves. Mm-hmm. What else do you see? The roots of the trees. Mm-hmm. Which is stuck over them. Mm-hmm. And as you're in this forest, do you feel that you have a physical body? Slightly. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to focus on this body now. And tell me, what does it feel like? So, large male. A large male. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Kind of like a like a lumberjack. Mm-hmm. A lumberjack. Mm-hmm. Focus on what you're wearing. What do you feel like you're wearing there? Like the typical plaid mm-hmm. shirt, jeans, have really big boots on. Big boots. Very good. Is there anything that you're carrying today? I thought so, but I don't feel it anymore. Mm Mm-hmm. So what do you feel now? The love. Mm Mm-hmm. Where are you receiving this love from? From Gaia. From Gaia. Mm Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to connect with Gaia telepathically and tell me what you feel. What are you receiving? I feel like we're friends, but I I heard her. Mm-hmm. How did you hurt her? Cut the trees. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? Sad. Mm-hmm. What happened? Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm just there to receive just sitting there mm-hmm. in the forest apologizing what I do feel you, like I'm spinning you're spinning, alright so allow mm-hmm. yourself to go into the spin and let's see where it takes you allow yourself to go through this spin and be the next place Where are you now? I feel like I'm in the same area, just above the trees this time. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you have a physical body above the trees? Mm Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Just kind of floating. Mm Mm-hmm. Looking at everything, looking at the trees, the sun. It's like I'm something else now. Mm Mm-hmm. So let's find out what it is that you are. Do you have anything physical as far as a body is concerned? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not sure. So if you don't have a body, you're free to move. So let's continue to zoom out and find out what you're doing there. Describe everything that you sense or feel. I don't see anything. I just mm-hmm. feel like the spinning is slower. Mm-hmm. I don't see the forest anymore. So let's continue with that spin until it takes you to the next appropriate place. What do you visualize? I saw a female, but... Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I saw her like a second. Mm-hmm. I don't see her anymore. Mm-hmm. What do you see now? It's just dark. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to go back to that female. You have full control of what you can see. 
go backwards again and find this female. I feel like she's like my wife. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What does she look like? Plain, wearing a brown dress. I, I think we live in the forest. Mm-hmm. Connect with her. Does she feel familiar to you? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You say that you live in the forest. I'd like for you now to find the place where you live. <clears throat> it's like a small cabin. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I had a child, but I don't see it anymore. Mm -hmm. What does this cabin look like inside? It's small, plain, square. Mm -hmm. It's a, a bed, stove, a couple of windows, door. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you live alone in this place? I live with her. With her. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? I got the presence of a, a child, but I don't, I don't see them. Mm-hmm. When you think about the child, what does it feel like? I got the sense that, that he was playing near me. Mm-hmm. And I, I kind of just lost the, the sensation okay, of very the presence. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's close this scene now, and let's go to another scene in that same lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. What do you sense? Guess like a teenage boy. Mm hmm. I'm with him by a small creek. He's playing or laughing or happy. Mm hmm. I mean, I'm not sure if we're fishing. I don't think there's any fish in the creek, but we're pretend fishing with strings mm -hmm. and just having a good time. Mm hmm. What do you call this boy? I'm thinking of um, my son, Lucian. Mm -hmm. Look into his eyes. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes? Mm -hmm. Very good. How does it feel? It's Lucian. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene and now let's move to another scene in that same lifetime when something important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? Back inside the, the cabin. Mm-hmm. Are you alone or are there others with you? My uh, wife is there, but I, I'm not sure if Lucian left, if he grew up. Mm -hmm. I want you to connect with your emotions, with your knowing, and you'll know the answer. What happened to him? I feel like he just left, he grew up and he left. Mm -hmm. He moved out. How does that make you feel? Mm -hmm. So what's to become of your life now? What do you do? I feel like I'm confused because she doesn't seem hurt by it. But I am. Mm -hmm. Anything else important? 
about this? <laughs> I just feel, um, I'm just sad. Feel sad? I'm just sitting down, mm. watching her move around the cabin, cook, whatever, and I'm just, I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. I feel misunderstood, mm-hmm. disconnected. You've lost your son. So now let's close this scene and let's move to another important scene of this lifetime. Something that impacted your life. Be there now. I don't see it, but I feel like I broke my leg. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't see the situation, I just know that I broke my leg. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Outside in the Mm -hmm. forest. Mm -hmm. So since you broke your leg, what does that mean to you? What happens now? I feel as if I wouldn't, I won't be able to enjoy my surroundings anymore. I wouldn't be able to walk around and and absorb the sun's rays. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Just go back to my cabin and feel sorry for myself. Mm -hmm. So now I'd like for you to close this scene and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself in that moment before you die. Tell me where you are. I'm in bed in the same cabin. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel there? 84. Mm-hmm. My son is there with his family. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? Happy. My wife is there, old. Mm-hmm. It's a strange relationship, but she's there. Mm-hmm. What kind of relationship do you have with your wife? I don't talk very much. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'd like for you to take your last breath in that lifetime. Allow your soul to detach from that body. And as you look at that entire life, I'd like for you to tell me, what was the purpose of being in that lifetime? Having a relationship with Gaia. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you succeeded in that? Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. And did you learn any lessons while you were in that life? I just feel that I... I was there to hurt her, but fix it. Mm Mm-hmm. And show my appreciation for her. How did you fix it with Gaia? Just spending time with her. Mm Mm-hmm. Just giving your her your energy to Mm -hmm. her? Okay, good. So allow yourself to detach from that body even more and tell me what you experience as you leave that body. What do you see or sense? Well, just above the trees again where I was. Mm hmm. Keep going and tell me what happens. Describe everything that you see or feel. I feel like I'm just kind of hovering and mm-hmm. enjoying the wind. Mm-hmm. And as you enjoy that wind, do you feel like you have anything physical? I want to say wings because mm-hmm. I feel the, the wind through mm-hmm. my whole body. Mm-hmm. So focus on yourself now and take a look and see if you have a body now. I feel like I'm like a giant eagle. Mm. Very good. I've seen this eagle before. I, I dreamt of it when mm. I was young. Mm-hmm. I used to ride on its back. Mm-hmm. So tell me where you go. I feel like I'm looking for me. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm on two right on my back. All right, so let's keep riding. Let's keep flying and see what you find. Where do you go? I see my dream again, but I'm the eagle this time. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to totally get inside of that moment and tell me what happens. I found... I'm in search for pure... a pure soul, mm -hmm. pure light, and I found myself when I'm about four or five What happens next? We fly off together. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? Above the clouds. Mm -hmm. And what is the purpose of finding this pure soul? S sharing happiness. Mm -hmm. Removing them from a, a bad situation. What happens when you ride the soul and remove them from that situation? Just like a, a distraction, like a, a release. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. I feel like it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. I go to myself often. Mm -hmm. In my sleep, in my dreams. Mm -hmm. So let's continue in your dreams and let's find out where you take yourself in those dreams. Where do you go? We're in a, a cave. Mm -hmm. It's a fire and we're just eating and spending time together. Alright, so let's Relive that moment and let's find out what you talk about in that cave. What do you discuss? Life. Mm -hmm. Connect with each other's mind and let's find out what it is that you're speaking about today. I feel like I'm now my young self and not the eagle. Mm-hmm. We're talking about just releasing stress and letting things just roll off your shoulder. Mm-hmm. So what are you asking? I'm asking about my dad. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and ask the eagle about your dad. He's powerful. Mm -hmm. Your dad is powerful? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was given this by somebody else through his family. Mm -hmm. What was he given? Abilities. Mm -hmm. And why is it that you chose to find your father in this lifetime? Well, like he gave me those abilities. He gave you those abilities. So let's find out if you knew your father from a different lifetime. Did you make an agreement that he would give you these abilities? He's reluctant. Mm. Who's reluctant? My dad. Mm -hmm. Why is that? He doesn't think they're they're good. He thinks they cause trouble. Mm -hmm. I think that's the reason why he was unhappy. He didn't understand the power. Mm -hmm. So let's dig even deeper. I want you to go even farther back and let's find out what these powers actually are. Let's see who gave these powers and why you needed them in this life. 
find that now. I feel like they're kind of like psychic abilities mm -hmm. that I need to share with people to mm -hmm. help them open their eyes to, mm -hmm. to almost change them. Mm -hmm. So see yourself using this psychic ability and tell me what happens. I see myself using them every day at work, mm. everybody I meet. When our, our hands touch, when I'm handing them something, when, when I give them their change or the receipt that's mm -hmm. transferred. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go further, deeper into this ability and let's find out what this energy is that comes out. I want you to go even deeper in. What is this ability? What does it do to the other person? Like allowing? Mm-hmm. Not sure where it came from. Mm-hmm. What does it do to those that you touch? I feel like it opens the third eye. Mm-hmm. Opens the third eye. So now that we understand what this ability is, I'd like for you to go back. Follow that ability back. And let's see where this ability is coming from. Where are you channeling this ability from? The earth. The earth. Very good. So let's find out how you're connected to the earth. See it in your eye, in your mind's eye. See the grid. See it flow and tell me how it works. I feel like it comes up through my feet and mm -hmm. out of my hands. Mm -hmm. Like I have a, a direct relationship with earth. Mm -hmm. Connection. Mm -hmm. Did you make an agreement with the earth to channel this energy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What was the agreement you made to come into this lifetime now? Change people. To change people. And their minds are closed. Mm-hmm. Your minds are closed. They're scared. Change people indirectly with my presence. And Elizabeth feels different than other beings. She's never felt understood, never felt that she's in the right place. Why is this? What is different about her? She's, she can easily see past the, the facade. She can see past the facade. Mm -hmm. Is this one of her superpowers? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else does she do? What other abilities does she have that makes her feel so different? She chooses to release energy. She chooses to release energy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does that affect others? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how has that affected her family life, for example? Mm 
siblings were always opposing change. Mm hmm. <clears throat> they were happy being the way they were. Mm hmm. And how did Elizabeth want to change? They had attachments mm -hmm. from other people, from their friends, and they they liked them. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to release them. Mm -hmm. So how can Elizabeth help those with attachments? Can she see them? She doesn't know what she can. Mm. Does she have the ability to see them? Yes. Mm -hmm. If she were to see an attachment on someone, what would she see through her third eye? Like black spots on the body. Mm -hmm. And how can she release those attachments? She uses her the energy to push them out mm -hmm. of their bodies. Now she told me that she uses a green light. What is the significance of the green light? That's what she's chosen. Mm. Yeah, it's a different kind of ability. Mm -hmm. What is the green light for her? Healing. Healing. So if she were to push the entity, ent entities out of people's bodies, what color light would she be using then? What kind of energy? Both white and green. White and green. Okay. So how can she begin using this new power beginning today to help others? The, it's always happened. Mm -hmm. But the ability is now open. Very good. Is this why she was brought here today? To be told about this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Now she's always felt that she didn't fit in with friends, with others. She doesn't seem to find a place. What advice would you like to give Elizabeth about that? Your mind is different. It comes from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I wasn't created here. Now she says that she saw a dream about her brain being implanted by something. Is this what we're talking about? Or is this something else? It's a collection of people. It's a collection of people. So, can we talk about her mind and where the, her mind is from? The stars. The stars. Tell me more. S stardust. The stardust? Mm-hmm. Is her mind her own, or has she collected the mind from somewhere else? It's created by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Now these people, are there other beings? Higher beings. Higher beings. And what was her purpose of creating this mind by these higher beings? the only one that could handle it. Mm. Very good. So can we take her back to that moment where this mind is being created, where she is being created to do her mission? And let's find out who these higher beings are. Would you take her there, please? fragments on a table being pieced together. 
Mm -hmm. What are these fragments of? Uh, stars, stones, mm -hmm. chips, computer pieces, mm -hmm. collection of everything. Mm -hmm. What do they do with all of this? <coughs> they piece it and make it look like a normal brain. Mm -hmm. And they send it down to Earth. Mm -hmm. How do they send this brain? A beam of light. Mm -hmm. So what happens? I'm sure he sees it in the womb. Ah, okay. Now, did this soul agree to receive? That was the plan. That was the plan. So can we find out a little bit about the soul and what her mission was as a soul to come into this lifetime? Who was this soul? One of the oldest. Not the typical soul on earth. Mm -hmm. One that travels one of us. Mm -hmm. Is this a wise soul? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is, what was the agreement before coming to Earth? Why did this soul choose to come here with this highly advanced brain? To feel pain. To feel pain. To understand loneliness and change others. To understand the loneliness and change others. Yes. For what purpose? It's necessary necessary. Did she need to feel to empathize with others in order to help change them? Was that the plan? On a technical level. On a technical level. Computer level. Mm-hmm. To calculate. What about a spiritual level? Yes. Did the brain affect the spiritual part? Or is that separate? It's, there's a, a gap between them, but they work together. Mm -hmm. So let's find out why she chose this particular family with those dynamics. Because you had told me that her father had these powers also. Did she know the father? He was a, um, like a hybrid of this same power. Mm-hmm. It was a different... It was overcome by an attachment. Ah. Does he still have that attachment? Yes. Mm-hmm. How can she now help her dad from afar? They're connected. Mm-hmm. They're connected. Mm -hmm. Very good. How will this change their relationship? They can speak telepathically to each other. Good. So they could connect mind to mind. Yes. Very good. Now, she told me that she felt super smart, and we now know why. She has this brain, but she's never gotten where she felt she should be, success-wise. Why is that? Depression. Depression. And what was causing this depression? Confusion. Mm-hmm. So what about now? How does she look now? 
Letting it go. Letting it go. Very good. So this is this confusion part any part in her, in her body? Do you see it in any part of her body? Around the brain. Around the brain. So we'll take a look at the brain and see if there's anything around the brain that is keeping her from not using it to its full capacity. It's like a cloud. A cloud on the brain. Mm-hmm. Is this cloud something that was placed there, or did she place it there? She did. She did. Let's find out an emotion or a moment in time when she placed that cloud there. I'd like for you to take her back in time, going back to when she created that cloud. What caused it to be created? How old are you there? Four. Four. What's happening right now that's allowing you to create this fog in your mind? This cloud? I watched my, my dad hit my sister. Mm-hmm. And what is this cloud helping you with? It's easier to stay hidden. Mm-hmm. So are you using this cloud to hide? Yes. Mm-hmm. Who would you like to talk to about that? These emotions that you're feeling. Abel. Mm-hmm. Who is Abel? An angel. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm going to count from one to three, and let's speak with Angel Abel. One, two, and three. Go ahead and tell Angel. Abel, what's happening? Tell him what happened. This is... She fell for an old trick. Mm-hmm. She fell for an old trick. Mm -hmm. What was this old trick? The difficulties of life. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. This wasn't supposed to happen. This wasn't supposed to happen. Why did it happen? She let herself feel weak. Mm-hmm. Tell me more, Abel. She's been asking. What has she been asking for? To be healed. Mm-hmm. And now she realizes that she put it there herself? Yes. Mm-hmm. Now why is it that the angels can't release something that she put there herself? She's not like us. Mm-hmm. Explain to her why it is that she's not like you. Wired. Mm-hmm. Uh, people that created it, created the brain, mm -hmm. don't feel like we feel. Mm -hmm. We don't understand. They don't know how to make it go away, how to change it. They don't understand the emotions? Yes. Mm-hmm. Isn't that the reason she came here, though, to learn? about these emotions? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what can she do today to remove that fog, yet not get wrapped up in the emotions? She knows. Mm -hmm. It's simple. Would you like to remind her? She's 
greater than that. Mm -hmm. well, let's we see. could be gone in a second. All right. So let's find out if she chooses. Would you allow me to speak with her for a moment? Yes. Thank you. I'm going to tap your forehead. Now you know that you can remove this cloud at any time. It's ready to come out. All right. What are you going to use to remove this cloud? Pink light. Pink light. Very good. So tell me what you're doing and tell me what happens once you remove the light. It funnels out. It funnels out. Through the forehead. Mm-hmm. And now I want you to assess the brain. See what's happened with the brain. It's been dusted. Mm-hmm. What would you like to put around this brain? The green light wasn't able to reach it mm -hmm. before. Mm-hmm. I can now. Very good. So are you encapsulating your brain in this green light? Yes. Very good. Tell me when you're done. Done. Very good. Let me speak with Abel now. Abel, can you tell me a little bit why you have decided to speak with Elizabeth? Are you her angel? One of. One of. How many angels does she have that she's working with? Several of us. Mm -hmm. Several of a different kind. Can you tell me a little bit about the different type of angels that are working with her? They're the ones that created the brain. They're the ones that created the brain. Mm -hmm. They look like men in robes. Mm -hmm. We don't understand each other. We don't understand each other? The angels don't? The angels with the different but we care for each other. Mm-hmm. Are you different from each other? Yes. Mm-hmm. What are the roles of these angels, these men in robes, in her life? Do you have different roles? To collect information. Collect information. And what is the purpose of collecting this information? What do you do with the information? Adjust it. Adjust her. Mm-hmm to be different, to act different mm -hmm. for certain people in and out of her life. She needs a different response from people, mm -hmm. so she changes herself. Okay, so she's able to transform into the person that they need to see? Yes. Okay, so she's got a very good um, kind of way of fitting in, doesn't she? Yes. So when she, one of her main problems was said that she didn't fit in with people. She couldn't access this when she was young. Mm. She felt it, but she didn't know what it was. She couldn't describe it to anybody. She knew no other kids around her felt like that. Mm -hmm. They weren't the same. Okay. She was an alien to people around her. Mm -hmm. So... It's her brain that's different. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is very much needed at this time, it seems. Yes. On Earth. What's happening on Earth now that this super brain is needed? Darkness. Darkness. Tell me about that. Like the cloud over the brain, mm -hmm. the cloud over the Earth. Okay. And who created this darkness? People, other beings. Mm hmm. So, bad entities. Bad entities. So how is it that Elizabeth is going to be helping with this darkness? One person at a time. One person. Are there other Elizabeths out there with brains like this? Not many. Not many. How many are there? 
four? Four. Will she ever meet any of these others? Not physically. Mm. Does she meet with them telepathically? Yes. How do they connect? Transfer information from different points of the earth. Okay. So are they in spread out around the earth? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so how is it that she is changing people? She adapts to what they need at that moment. Mm -hmm. If they're sad, she's happy. Okay. If they're lonely, she asks them about their day. Okay. Very simple things. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it has a big impact. It does. Very good. What can she do to her heart to not encapsulate it, but fill it with love so that she's able to receive and give but not break it. She needs to connect her brain to her heart. Mm -hmm. Can we do that now? Yes. All right. What would we like to use to connect that brain? Strings. Mm -hmm. Strings of light. Strings of light. What color are these strings of light? White. Mm -hmm. How many? Four. Very good. Now she tells me that she saw a light behind her in her sleep one day. Her body was trembling. She didn't know what to do. And her son said, just say yes. What was that? What was that experience all about? <clears throat> she was receiving information that another piece of her was trying to connect. Mm-hmm. How many pieces does she have out there? Eight. Eight. Why does she have eight parts of her out there? <coughs> she created the different pieces. Mm-hmm. We all have a purpose. Mm -hmm. Did she create these pieces before she was incarnated or after? After. After. Now, sometimes we create these pieces to protect ourselves. Is it beneficial for her to have these pieces floating around and not being a part of her? <coughs> yes, they help connect to the other four on the earth. Okay. Now these other pieces that she created, are they physical? Or are they yeah. spiritual? Spiritual. They're spiritual beings. Are they male, female? Do they have a gender? They're just pure light. They're pure light. Very good. So this, these lights come back to her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Not every day. Not every day. So what should she do when she feels this presence again. Allow. Allow. Good. Are there any angels that work with her as far as the relationships are concerned? There's Abel. Abel. Very good. Does Abel also help her with her career? With the way she makes a living? She does that by herself. She does that by herself. So now that she understands how her brain is wired, where it came from, and the reason that she's here, incarnated in this lifetime, can she now use that brain that it's no longer clouded to find a career? And that she can use that brain to help people? Yes. Very good. Now, when we started out this session, it started out with that lumberjack. And we now understand that that lumberjack and Lucian were connected then. Why did you show her the part about the eagle? How does the eagle, what does it represent in her life? A segment of her. A segment of her.
What does this eagle do? <coughs> Helps hurting souls. Mm -hmm. So does this eagle find other souls? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do they have to be pure souls? No. No. So where does she take them as an eagle? To soar. To where? To soar. To soar. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't take them to the cave. The cave was just for her mm -hmm. to speak with herself. Good. Is there anything else that I didn't ask that you would like to tell Elizabeth? You're ready for the next step. You're ready for the next step. Will she know what that means? Yes. Very good. Are we complete today? Or is there any other message you'd like to give Elizabeth today? This is all she requires. Very good. Thank you so much. Wide awake feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Well, do you remember any of this? <clears throat> I, yeah, I believe so. Yeah? Most of it. What do you feel? Whole. Whole. Mm. Is this anything like what you expected it to be? Um, slightly. I feel like I, I knew what I needed to hear in yeah. a way. Mm -hmm. This brain of yours is pretty awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. It was almost like an operating table. Yeah, and all these uh, robed, what they call angels, mm -hmm. were, they were putting... working with instruments and piecing it together. Wow, and they sent it to you in a beam mm -hmm. of light into the womb. Pretty awesome. Yeah. So how long do you think you were on this journey? <clears throat> About maybe like 15 minutes. 15 minutes? We're on 1 hour and 11 minutes right now. One, one, one. I see those numbers a lot. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is this something that you would want to share partially? Or you want to keep it private? I think partially. Mm. It would be okay. Yeah, take out all the personal stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it had a lot of really interesting stuff, huh? Yeah, I remember there being like a handful of us that are, mm. were designed the same way. Yeah. And, um a couple of them are lost, and they, they need it. And that's why you're they'll, connecting with them telepathically? Uh -huh, they'll, yeah. they'll find this. Yeah, well, look at today. I mean, you found this, and now mm -hmm. you understand. Mm -hmm. Do you feel good now, feeling different? Yeah. Pretty. I feel warm. I feel healed. That's great. That's mm -hmm. great. So let me give you some shungai so we can ground you. Let's, let's switch those up. That'll be all... Hmm? <laughs> Sweaty. That's okay. That's how they are. <laughs> Good. And just relax for a little bit. You did fantastic. Really? Nice. Okay, drowsy. Yeah. Wow, you feel drowsy? Mm-hmm. So tell everybody how you felt coming in and now how you feel. I was extremely nervous. Mm. And that's typical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find parking. I mean, <laughs> you know, I was really distracted. I didn't. Yeah. And one of the reasons you came here is because you felt you never fit in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does yeah. this make sense now? Yeah, because it's I, I literally am built different. Mm -hmm. So now do you need to be the same as anybody else mm -hmm. anymore? And this is what happens with these sessions is that you realize, you know, you've been trying to fit in all your life and you're really different. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with you. It's just that this is who you are. Right. So yeah, this is the way it's supposed to be. You're needed here mm -hmm. for certain things. So how do you feel that this has changed you now? It's like I'm ready to go live. Yeah, yeah. you feel good? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. So do you recommend this to other people? Yes, definitely. Good. Yeah. So if you want a session with me, go to albawyman.com. Go to the out of town page. Whoops. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> there you will see a sign up for a newsletter. Make sure you sign up. It comes out about once a month, and there are links there, and that's how you get a session. 
Yes. Now, right now, we are in San Antonio, Texas, mm -hmm. and you're from here also. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this was pretty good that you were able to get this session. Yeah. You didn't have to travel anywhere. So, Isn't that cool? live really close. Yeah, about, yeah. what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Isn't that something? People come here from other parts of the world, and you were just able to drive over. And the, mo the biggest complaint was not getting a parking yeah, yeah. space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So good. So I hope you enjoyed this session. It was totally different, as mm -hmm. we could see. But uh, I hope you get a few little tidbits out of this. I I did, and uh, wow. Yeah, I still need to like process everything. Yes. I, She's yeah. still kind of like, <laughs> not yeah. in a fog, but kind of in shock probably, yeah, right? definitely. Good. So thank you for watching. Until the next time, bye. Give me that dog. Mm.